Okay, this is um, this is kind of a late night broadcast, semi emergency, but just a a pattern of really bad, bad, <laughs> violent things happening, and uh, it's really sad. All right, I don't know how much this I can play. There's a lot to show you. purpose making Prophet Muhammad trend and I explained to you so many times so many times they control what trends and what what doesn't uh, they're showing the slapping of a Palestinian prisoner and so they're showing um, <laughs> really extreme brutality is being shown and this is also to demonize Jews no, and uh, Israelis. And then we have this. So there's lots of predictor programming and signs that, that I'm seeing that they're brainwashing the American people to predict and expect an Islamic terror attack. And I don't know if this guy, who this guy is, but this is the main reason why this video is happening tonight. Um, this video is happening tonight uh, because we are discussing... Uh, this particular video here, we are, uh, I noticed this, and I thought I'd bring it to your attention. I don't know if this is true. This this rings really, this is just like what I told you, it's election season. It's just like it's 2015 all over again with the fake news. So he's saying, and, there, and notice how they have a misspelling, Al-Qaeda. There's something about this that doesn't seem legit, and... So they're prepping people for this. And I'm not saying there aren't illegal immigrants here. I'm not saying that they aren't filling up pockets of the nation up. There is crime. This is happening. This is happening. But it's also done to demonize innocent people too that are trying to escape certain countries. And so lots coming to me tonight. So we did like the free flow today. Now we need to like cover news. It's going to be like the different aspects of what we cover here. Sometimes we'll be a little bit more into the news and you'll be seeing the news, not my face. Okay, so I still may do a long video in the morning with my coffee. But it's, it's, it's something that we need to cover now. So I just had a conversation with a Denver police officer at the airport. And we were. By, by the way, I don't believe this at all. This is re oh, interesting eyes. This is all reminiscent of the time period where we t heard the fake. Remember when all the fake articles? Do you remember? Do you remember the waves and waves and waves of YouTube videos that came around 2013 and 2014 about martial law about to be declared and Obama about to be this? Y you know, I've been warning about disasters for a long time, but there's always these edge of the seat, you know. Um, types of videos that tend to trend. And then I told you on TikTok, they can make things trend because China controls it. So they can make certain videos trend by saying illegal immigrants saying take over an American's house. And then say a Clyde Lewis and aspects of the right can take that media and act like that's like the plan. So I'm not saying they're not bringing over too many people. I'm saying this kind of does fit into an era narrative of us for STEM plus I had a thought of kind of how the shadow government at those states going to come about from the false flags as the grid goes down and when it comes back up, we'll, we may be. I hope this isn't the case, but I might as well speculate because things I've been concerned about for years seem to be manifesting. And um, yeah, um, you need to remember that I'm using a laptop mic and my headset's not working. So we're talking about the crime that's going on not only in Denver, but our country. And he says, the media will not tell you this. I'm not even supposed to talk about this, but I don't care anymore. We've arrested the Denver police in Denver has arrested over 50 Al Qaeda members in the last two months. All right, but it's misspelled, I think. 
Um, 50. Okay, so with that said, we started talking about everything else. Is there news about this? And so, so, so who's this constant, they're trying to cover up for the terrorists. I've lived in Colorado. There isn't a, a, a systematic institutional conspiracy in Colorado to cover for Middle Eastern terrorists. Bull crap. <laughs> it was really hard for me to make friends there, being different, but I don't deny it. there's migrants there that have arrived all of a sudden. Let me just say this. I know that I fired back at some things that I didn't like about the mask with regards to off-grid living, but we know now, it's sad how things turned out for me, but I think we know now I wasn't meant to be there. Colorado seems to be ground zero for some really bad stuff right now. But this seems to be kind of like, so there are things that are being pushed, just so you know, by the Twitter algorithm. It's not all things to ignore, but they do try to steer us in certain directions. So I felt like we need to do a one hour show tonight, go over these videos and be responsible about what we say or what I show so it doesn't get shut down tonight. And I don't want to traumatize you through the violence, but I think that we need to pray well, do more than pray, pray, work out, all that. Um, take a deep breath and be strong about this. This is not faces of death, guys. But we also need to have a conversation about the algorithm promoting things that can cause people to be violent, right? I've mentioned that a lot. So let's hear what he has to say, but this seems contrived. And, and reminiscent of what we saw before Trump came on the scene. We started talking about where the budget's going and how they don't have enough police cars. They're gonna be putting them on foot. We started talking about all the migrants that have been coming over the border and how they're cutting the police budget in all major cities, including Denver. And then we started talking about how there's sleeper cells all over Colorado. He's talking about- Now, if I was living where I was in that exact spot around those people, it's possible they would be like psh, 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 about that like conspiracy guy up on the hill. If I was like up there now, it's it's possible. It's possible that I would be like in a mental health crisis in that spot, being the only person that wasn't like, you know, a totally white Anglo Trump worshiping, like, you know, like Facebook junkie listening to Alex Jones. It's really sad that people don't realize that these types of videos are sort of contrived and they can weaponize migration to create like an Edlo state shadow government situation. And guys, you don't want them to be manipulating your brains to get you to do bad shit because they'll just use it against you later. And so I feel like there's, there is an evil in Colorado. And I think that this is a sign that I'm getting. Okay, I was planning to, to visit some spots and I'm gonna sign now, no. And one of them is aspects of the off-grid environment are overrun by bandits, not Al-Qaeda, not Middle Eastern folks, but tweakers and dopeheads. We can come back to this later. South Americans, he's talking about people from Central America. He's talking about people from China. He's talking about people from um, the Middle East all over. And he says, the police know this the state police and the local police, and they're not allowed to do a damn thing about it. That right there, I'm not buying. I'm not buying the conspiracy theory that cops and military and people in our system are like in on this or something and not speaking out. They would be speaking out in droves. Can you hear me? Looks like we paused it at 114. Can you hear me? If there were like people at all various levels like witnessing like terrorists being brought in, they were like legit terrorists, there'd be a lot more chatter. And so this seems contrived. And guys, I'm not, I'm not shaking my boots reporting on this because I'm not off grid, but living off grid in isolation where I was in that spot was not good for my mental health because I did not even have the basic like network for, that a human being needs, period. Let alone a guy pushing back against evil. Now, I'll stop talking about those people up there. I'll just move on, guys. But for those listening that have been monitoring that off-grid stuff, I'm a human being and my feelings hurt because I'm a decent guy. And I know that I witnessed or heard of 
improper behaviors from off-gridders in Costilla County. We talked about it. And I know the truth, guys. I know the truth about the people that live out in Costilla County. And now I know more from that other guy on YouTube who's, who's spilling the beans. The people up there aren't Middle Eastern. They're not the people off-grid. For the most part, they're not Latino. They're people from elsewhere that trash the place. And they're cruel. And now you have a lot of the people acting like they're victims when they've been living in Colorado decent lives. And the internet is like a cesspool where these dark operations are going on. Where these videos pop up. So y'all, here's my question for you. Especially for those of you that are left leaning. Do you still think that it's okay to have open fucking borders? No, it's not. No, it's not. But what we don't want to do is get over reactionary and I'm not saying I'm left-leaning, but there are some things that are left-leaning and right-leaning that I might agree with. I'm really just outside the box, but that is a good question, I guess, to ask. But the question is, is are these videos setting the stage for a false flag? Okay, that, so there, we covered that. So I'm not going to just scream and shout. We covered that. Now, I kind of need to bounce around here and talk about a few topics. So we saw that from Red Pill Truther, Red Pill Drifter, Okay. Um, so we'll take a look at some of these retweets. Okay. So Israel is using white phosphorus bombs on South Lebanon now. Um, I had a thought about them using robots to patrol ethnostate zones in the future. I thought about that yesterday. So I feel like maybe I can see aspects of the future and what's planned as far as this, uh, how they're gonna use robots in America and around the world. But I've had a bad feeling about this drone program for a long time and them basically unleashing uh, drones on the population through Amazon and other places, it's in the news. It's starting to pop up, you know, this type of drone delivery thing around the earth in certain pockets. I don't think it's healthy. It's not innocent. And again, Prophet Muhammad is not trending because of people into Muhammad. Folks, just be realistic. There would be people contacting me or thanking me if there were as many people going into this mindset. But these people that I, when I do talk to them, they don't necessarily back me up, which I don't understand the mind control. I guess we'll just come back to this later. I mean, I, I refuse to think that they're all evil and that they're all under mind control because that's judgmental, isn't it? And I'm not judgmental. But the ones that I, in recent years, in this locale and on the internet, haven't had any positive exchanges. So they're out there. But unfortunately, through this internet thing and here locally, I'm not coming across them. Some of you, however, have had some better experiences. Gypsy Fox claims that he has, and he's also had some pretty negative ones with some Palestinians. I'm showing here Pueblo Food Court. That is Colorado. So this person may be Hispanic, but um, driving a car through the Pueblo Mall. So the common theme here is what? We are seeing a spat of unstable people committing serious crimes. Patrick sent this Ohio man charged with murder after allegedly shooting killer Uber driver he believed was scamming him. He had a mental health crisis and he had a psychosis. Uh, there is a hate crime against a black teenager that we will cover. I did live in Oregon and these sediments do exist in rural Oregon. It is incredibly white supremacist and racist in rural Oregon. What I didn't mention in a recent video was that I don't recommend the coast. To elaborate, there's a lot of tweaker, biker, meth, criminal energy in and around the coast. There's some nice energy too, but uh, you know, Tillamook and some of those places in between, uh, there's some pretty messed up people. There's just like a lot of evil in Oregon and historically, okay? Um, now let's take a look at this. So we talked about the drone program. And so we're seeing the rise of drones being brought out in our society, but at the same time, Russians added a speaker to these drones to tell Ukrainians that they're welcome to surrender. If they don't, the drone blows up 
the trenches. Now, what's happening with the Chinese migrants may not automatically all be a sign of a sleeper agent invasion, even if I am predicting that. You need to be a little bit more cautious of what's happening militarily and not assume everybody Chinese fleeing the Chinese government is a part of the military. But I understand your concern and people's concern. But I'm not assuming everybody Chinese or period coming in here is a terrorist, even if we may have views that some of them aren't respectful, may have some criminal tendencies. There is a difference between that and straight up terrorism. There's layers of the criminal threat. But the way they're doing this with putting people in nice places in New York, and they're not putting them in Portland. Did you notice that? Not that I know of. They're putting them in certain cities over and over and over again, like New York. Where else? And so it radicalizes people on the street that are white and black. Anyway, the sun is super active, and I did a lot of uh, videos today. And it looks like on this day, in which I did a three-hour video, the sun produced 12 C flares and one M-class flare. And there was a geomimetic storm. Now this is intense, and this is so crazy. I'm, I might even have to, um, I don't know if there's any audio to this. This is New York. Okay, so please pray for the people in New York. Wait a minute. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm looking at the date here. Looks like this is from 2020, and if so, do you really need to... Get away from me. Okay. He's about to swing on me. What's the address? Okay. Right. So, this is a flashback. We don't, Hello. This guy's we're not going to go through the whole experience of going through this, but... Somebody pulled out a sword in some sort of a fight. We can see how brutal, though, these fights are getting in the street. And this is this is not a good situation to be stuck on the ground. We have a lot of unfortunate women of various ethnicities, but we see a lot of white women that are getting punched in the face. And every time I, I look at the, the For You tab, I see new levels of violence. And then they also show you extreme levels of violence in the Middle East, but to constantly say, don't let these people in the country. But not everybody is like that, though. So there's a, there's a major, like, mess with your mind propaganda war, and again, trending Prophet Muhammad. I told you a long time ago, they're artificially manufacturing, even on the internet, the Islamic invasion, because people, folks, are really are that dumb. And I refuse to be cowardly about it and silent when I see this going on. I like talking to Gypsy once in a while, but I don't agree with everything that he said on his channel regarding the future. So documents, Washington woman ran over, killed man with his own car after he offered to pay her for sex. She's another deranged Oregon woman. Next story. How the wives of Israeli hostages were beaten outside Netanyahu's residency in the only democracy in the Middle East. And so we see just this extreme brutality in Israel that's just been unleashed. And this story, so so we have a number of different zombie stories, basically, of people like doing like crazy, uh, crazy stuff, if you catch my drift. Stuff that's just like things that make you go like, what, what, are, are you serious? Who, who does this? A dead person is wheeled into a bank and this woman tries to get him to sign off on a loan while holding his head up. And then he got this one. Here's another one. Here's another person gone full Archon 
and around the time of the eclipse. Just get this. Atlantic City Mayor Marty Small Sr. accused of beating his teenage daughter unconscious with a broom. It was filmed by the boyfriend on Snapchat. The mayor dragged his daughter to a press conference where he denied the allegations. He and his wife would punch the daughter, who's 16, in the mouth, beat her unconscious. And see, these people are put into positions of power. There was another story, okay, in Oregon. And I believe this. This is getting crazy. In Oregon Outdoor School, which I went to, but it wasn't like that then, high school boy counselors, 15 to 18, can bunk with six grade girls, 11 and 12 year old overnight, use their bathrooms and watch them get dressed if they simply feel safe with little girls. If the little girls don't feel safe, they're bigots. So some sort of a screenshot here. This is likely true. More people die on Portland streets in 2023 than in any other year uh, in at least uh, three decades. So I'm calm right now. However, ooh, violent video. Sometimes you hear me go off about the past and it has to do with the fact that no one was there for me and I think people are not taking that seriously. That you're talking to an intelligent man that was left on the streets. You need to think about this and go, who else was left on the streets that has worth, that would work, that is worthy of having a career, that has abilities, that literally is an example of someone that's been held back by this world. Whether it was literally held back in school, by their parents or something. And these things lead to chronic homelessness, joblessness, not being able to, you know, at, and I remember as a small child feeling sympathy for the homeless when my mother and I walked through, but never like suspecting that I would be set up for homelessness by my parents as my mother would take me by the hand at age 13 and 14 to some, you know, dance thing at PSU or something while she was just following her own, you know. And so like the nightmare my mother put me through is not only in the past, but knowing that she, she lives in a world where, where she's banking on like angels being with her at all times. And yet I see, what am I supposed to think though? When I see these videos, we can't watch this. We can't watch this. But see, these videos are a little all over the internet now. And there's never content, but it's always crazy clips. This crazy clips, this crazy clips, sometimes I wonder who, who are these, it's not really funny though. Ha ha ha, but is it funny? Is this funny? Like I'm a clown or like you're a clown? You're here to make me laugh, you're here to amuse me. This is not funny. This is horrible. This is sick. And then we see the video of the, the white girl that was that was beaten into the ground. And then you have this stuff that, that's comical, but really sad because they are fighting with like swords and, and sticks. So like the Indians and the Chinese, they're big into Kung Fu fighting and, and stuff. And they love to do it after solar flares. I've noted this a decade. After solar flares, it's on. After solar flares, it's on at the Indio-China border. It is... I don't think they're messing around. These people fight to the death when there's solar flares at this border. I don't know what type of demon stuff going on, but this is straight Lord of the Rings. Is this real audio? This, this can't be real. Do you hear this shit? No, that's not real. God, I'm so gullible. I haven't actually witnessed a real battle like this. You'll have to excuse me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Look at that turban. Yeah, I get it, folks. I, I get it. I, I get why people want to close down the borders. But just, you need to do a better screening process, process when you do that white supremacy discrimination thing. You just can't, not if you're going to have a DeSouza and a Patrick Bet David and a, and, oh, and by the way, have you noticed how Mike Tyson is hitting that back like he's back in shape? Sore flares. Did you think about me when you saw him hitting that back? Like, yeah, yeah, Alex was talking about that. Sore flares and stuff. There's, there's Mike, and, then you get, and then you have this stuff. 
you have these old ass videos that emerge of like street fights the Israelis start at the Palestinian tables. It's like hell on earth. Hey, we don't want to get shut down tonight. There's nothing really extreme that we're showing. Um, we got this guy, Valquez, who um, isn't liked by the people of Portland, but he's going to be like the law and order guy. So he's being potentially funded by questionable money. So we'll see where that's going. Um, sunspot number tops 200. So the Grand Store minimum crowd was wrong. I, I'm right. I'm right that they were wrong to act like we we're going to do a grand death of the sun. Okay. Keith Strong is um, a solar physicist with 20,000 followers. Let's just go ahead and glance at him. So it looks like he is uh, a reputable uh, source on the sun. One of several, along with uh, Tamitha. Okay, so we'll take a look at this. You know, I'm not big into doing the ooh, ah, but here we are. All right. Is it good for you too? See, to me, it ain't about the videos. It's like, I feel it. It's like, oh my gosh, it's time to record a video. And some people are at the strip club. Don't judge people for going to strip clubs if it's legal for people to look at nudity. What, what's dark is, is, is other things. Okay, if someone's gonna play, well, you know what I think's worse? Playing Call of Duty. Someone's not better, higher mighty if they don't go to the strip club. But if they get involved in say like murder and stuff or working with murderers or receiving money from a system that murders, they're not better than people that go to the strip club. People at strip club are at least looking at nudity, but accusing them of engaging in human trafficking, right? That's horrifying. If that's how you feel, start calling strip clubs right now. Call them human traffickers. Call, call them that. Call them that, if that's how you feel, right? I'm tired of this crazy talk. You guys should be a lot more mature in 2024. I'm not talking to you all. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We're looking at this Spiritual looping energy. Mm. Right here. Right here. We don't normally do this, do we? Where we just look right at the sun. We could do that. Wow. Wow. It's like there's a spiritual energy. I totally think the Aurora Borealis has got spirits in it. But this right here, the way it... Here we go. Hmm. Need some music. Hmm. Okay, that was good. All right. So we have seen an uptick in activity. We're not out of the woods yet. We are at Soar Max. So 200. So we're on our way to potentially a very strong soar cycle. And we could see that the um, events of the world are are in line with that it says YouTube is not available on this device. There were a couple of links that were claiming certain things that was supposedly about Russia and China at the Mexico border on that same fake news. That's right, that same potential fake news article about 50 Al Qaeda misspelled in Denver. There was also links making fake claims of the Russia China invasion. And I'm telling you, if we're if we're getting closer to something like that, I think that I would sense it and see some signs of it and chatter. And I would like to think that maybe somebody would leak to me info, or at least you would think that aspects of our own government would care. Male student violently slaps 
then fights female student while shouting, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted this. Shut the fuck up. I'll slap you. Bitch, hop up. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think I want this. Nigga, sh my shirt down. Yeah, see, so when when the grid goes down and people don't eat and there aren't police there, there's going to be a certain rage unleashed on women. And this is the type of stuff they're going to talk about in the future if we go survive this. That I talked about this. I, I, I still don't have, still don't see signs that people really are, are happy that I'm reporting on these things. If you are, I certainly don't know it, and I will report on it as people let me know. Sometimes also people misinterpret my reporting as thinking the apocalypse is here or the end of the world. When I'm saying like the end of the world as we know it is here, and there are horrible things happening to other people, even if your world where you are is fine. It's not fine, and there's weapons of mass destruction that are made in the US that are being there are weapons of mass destruction in the US that are being used in Gaza You know, uh, my very first videos 20 years ago is about the cops filming people. That's old, but I got it. I gotcha. But the filming, the protesters thing was being done from the beginning. So just chill. They, they do that. All right. So, uh, so white phosphorus on residential areas. Uh, so this type of behavior from Israel and people denying that Israel is committing genocide isn't good. And I've seen plenty of, plenty of, plenty of really vicious things that they're doing to the Palestinians. I'm not seeing an overabundance of stuff being done to the other side, but there are some videos. I really don't know everything that's going on there. But the viciousness to children, to women, is over the top. And it's like there's just like a massive um, uh, demonic possession taking place. But I want to get to where I'm going through this. And... and discussing it drug shortages are coming get off your meds if you're on meds don't even be dependent on marijuana know how to deal with that if you're going to lose that i wanted by the time of of major disasters to have reached more people on this planet i and 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 to have had um a better time on the earth and i I'm not saying the end is here, but I'm saying like things are getting dramatically bad right now. And just because you're not affected doesn't mean there aren't people harmed in Afghanistan, Iraq, and not just those countries, Ukraine and other places. Man charged with sexually assaulting unconscious woman at TriMet Station in Hillsborough. Like you have, that's what I've been thinking. You have like, you have a really dark sexual energy that's in Portland. And I am a man that's talked about this for years. Like, all right, listen. It is very, very unfortunate that what we would call the, the authorities in Portland, Oregon, in higher education, don't even know my name. I didn't know that McDonald's was involved in the IDF thing. I'm not eating at McDonald's now. I, I switched to halal meat, but I still had pepperoni, pizza like today, but the halal meat is grass fed. Okay. And so just because refugees have been mean to me here locally, and I try to talk to them, it doesn't mean that I'm gonna hate them when I see them, I'm just gonna be disappointed because I'm like, I'm like trapped in this body where like they should be sympathetic to my cause. I didn't, I didn't ask to be named what I, what I was, unless I, did I? Are any of you psychic? If any of you psychic right now, I'd love a reading, but whatever. Israel urged to stop supporting violent Jewish settlers following deadly West Bank attacks. Woman arrested after taking corpse. We have volcanic eruptions. We have severe weather. 
We have Disney. We have Disney. Hmm. Watch out for those crocodiles. Watch out. Crocodiles, not good. Crocodiles. All right. All right. So, you, you might notice that when we look through that For You tab, what do we not see? We did not see... Um, now, I don't know who they are, open source intelligence. I'm suspicious. But it says, this is an interesting theory. <laughs> They're going to use the migrants to fight the Chinese and Russians. All right, guys, this is Look at that. Hernandez in front of City Hall in New York. And as you guys can see, I am surrounded right now by hundreds of illegal immigrants from New Guinea and also from Haiti. All right, so majority single men from Africa. I want to take you guys around what this park looks like and more importantly what every single park in New York is starting to look like. Just yesterday I was in the East Village area and there were two children's parks right next to a church that the city is currently using to house single males. So children are playing right next to this. More importantly the city of New York has spent $2 billion at this point on this crisis. They said that through 2025, they're going to try to spend $12 billion because that's what it's going to take to sustain all of these people. Mm. Now, typically, you'd be able to speak to these migrants. And there's, there's other news um, regarding a woman who is going to commit suicide in Europe, and they're going to have it done. And... Um, they're probably, they might be popularizing the mass suicide thing, definitely with the magnetic field changes, uh, the sore flares, you know, and what's happening in the world. There's going to be a lot of people, and the emotionalism from the eclipse is going to be a lot of people checking out, killing others, and plotting to kill themselves, because for some souls, this is a very difficult, you know, some people are hurting more than others right now. Now, now this stuff isn't necessarily wrong, but it also seems to be part of a narrative. Imagine what happens when 10 million illegal immigrants get their benefits slashed. No food, no shelter, no debit cards. So there also is the predictive programming for white people to fear non-whites. Just keep, just keep that in mind. Then there's this, swarm of hundreds. So what he's saying is this mass migration thing is harming, has been harming whites and non-whites that are Americans. It's creating a situation where we don't know who we can trust. And if people don't know if they can trust me after 20 years of YouTube, how are you gonna know who you can trust in the street? And that's pretty crazy if people in Portland are gonna trust random people that move to Portland Street when I have 20 years experience talking to them. To me, that's Satanism. I don't have any contacts in Manhattan right now to be giving me the inside scoop. I would love someone, if they were listening in Manhattan, uh, to let me know, or if you're listening in Denver, to let me know. I know of two people in Denver, and they're not, they're not feeling, they're both feeling very bad. This is very hard to watch. This is very hard to watch. You know what's gonna happen here, don't you? We're seeing a rise in black students attacking their white teachers. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm really sorry to tell you this. And there is a very sharp rise in these videos. Um, I'm sorry. Very, you know, an assault's about to take place here. So this is what we're dealing with. China sends fighter jets. Look at this to shadow U.S. Navy plane over Taiwan Strait. Okay. Then there's PDX Real, and this is very, very disturbing. And this is uh, child sex trafficking in the Springwater Corridor. I told him any information about her, just for Important. obvious reasons. Being very helpful. Do, do you know any description of this particular girl that was at the Del Run show? Or maybe how old she was? Uh, she was like, she wasn't between 25 to 30. We have a, we have a girl coming by now. Stop for a second. Okay. Yeah. And then. Being very anonymous, so I'm trying to keep it like that, Angela. Yeah. I got it. Thank you for the work. And everything, everything she owns is better. And you know, but that could be that for for sure, man. You know, and that's that. We're not listening to all this. But you know, everybody shut up. 
and then makes it seem like legit, so police walk the other way, and then that's that. Or even if the police comes by, you know, the, the dude got a, got a business, uh, got a business card, so it's legit, you know. He's actually in a suit, you don't look any suspicion or anything. And all, all you have to do is yeah. just be there and in locations around, including two motels that are here, right, yeah. right down the street. And, um, they're kind of stuck there, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, they're, they're, they're paid in fentanyl yeah. and food and water and water and a place to stay where they can do the drugs and stuff after they go out and go do whatever they do. Yeah. So just, yeah. So just to support their habit, you know, I don't know what, if you know where Eddie Second is, that's where all the people get big whores and stuff like that, sell drugs and, you know, it's pretty much that ghetto part of Portland. Where you can find it, anything bad, really, right here. Yeah, somebody just died yesterday at the motel. One of the girls. Yeah, they uh, they tried to say she overdosed, but it's something, it's something more than that. So nowadays, everybody got Norcans and stuff. So. so I think about- there were references to like extreme minors being used, also. Um. This is unrest in Russia, again, after the SOAR cycle kicks off. And again, there is probably a lot of people having sex last week, getting pregnant and bringing more slaves uh, into the world, okay? Um, Russia suggests next targets could be three U.S. states and two uh, NATO countries. Yeah. Close enough. Alaska, Hawaii, California, Finn, and Poland. We'll look at the uh, the drill up in Alaska another day. Okay, that's going to take a little bit more time. Yeah, I made reference to the Putin sex camps in the past. He knows how to do it. This is important for you to care about if you care about the anti-white stuff. Because there's plenty of innocent Muslims, even if they're zombies. There's plenty of them that aren't even like big time followers of like, you know, what's in their book. Even if you've been told otherwise. I've come to see this, folks. Anyways, you know, a lot of them just want to play video games. They're sinful as hell. On and on. Uh, Care reported receiving its highest number of anti-Muslim bias complaints in 2023, so I was sensitive to this for years, and I did predict that 2022 would be the year in the rise of hate, okay? And I feel like I was just slightly offset by about a year. And it's gonna lead towards, and now people are saying, round them up, round up the illegals. And under the guise of fighting the illegals, you know, under the guise of fighting illegal immigration, we have a wall to keep the Americans in, Israel lets AI decide who dies in Gaza. So like, this is what's going on. (sighs) Supernova study reveals danger to planets. And we'll talk about that in the future, right? But AI lets, or AI to decide who, who dies and who lives. Like this is the robot apocalypse. And so when we deal with that supernova, by the way, I think that's going to be bringing, it could could be bringing even some enlightenment energy. That was something that happened in 1987 also. Some sort of like an explosion and there was some positive energy, but also a lot of people were killed in the 80s too. It wasn't all positive or it could be positive in some areas in some ways and negative for others. So this will be our last report. The Israeli military has employed yet another AI-based system to select bombing targets in the Gaza Strip. 
And I think that it's good that I start my day with like a freak flow for two or three hours and just go off and glance at no more than two to four headlines. And then try to give solutions and be humorous and just talk first thing in the morning. But there comes the time to do business. To be in business mode and we're doing that now. Lavender is their AI system and it's playing a role in the bombing. Great. Great. Well, guys, not only do I not believe the official futuristic accusations of Middle Eastern terror attacks in America, I believe there'll be false flags. I sense AI will be doing this type of roundup thing on people. And I'm not convinced at all that they'll just be harming official Muslims. And when they're done with them, the target will move on to the next group. The message from the future is you should have never, ever allowed it to be done to them to begin with. How many of you are just going to be silent with what's coming? Do you know how many stories have come out in the last week saying the government has, has gone in and arrested people planning attacks? Do you believe that they all were planning attacks? And if they are planning attacks or if they were brainwashed to plan attacks, these, these people that are in the news... Have you thought about the role of algorithmic manipulation to the degree that I have in the Islamic world? What do you mean, Alex? They all got cell phones. They're on these platforms in which they're being radicalized. Twitter itself allowed the Taliban and other ISIS members to have accounts. Why do you think that is? I'm shadow banned, but an ISIS account will have a countless amount of followers or a large amount. Don't you find that to be just a little bit odd? So we're going to bring this to a close. This concludes tonight's report for April 17th, 2020.